We are gathered here today not to witness the beginning of what will be, but rather what already is, to celebrate one of life's greatest moments and to cherish the words that shall unite Cameron and Renee's in marriage. Who would have ever thought a pandemic would turn our lives upside down? No gatherings, no parties, no friends around. But finally today, we have witnessed two become one with Blue Mountain as the backdrop in the setting sun. A country setting at your home where Wagyu cows on pasture do roam. Family and friends have gathered to see a beautiful bride and husband to be. As you start your married life, we wish you well. And tonight there will be plenty of stories to tell. Nathan, Cam, you both start a journey as a pair. When you face bumps in the road, please don't despair. So let's raise our glasses, let's all give a cheer, because Rossi has provided plenty of beer. So where do we start? Nice plate. About six months before we knew we were going to have a child, I had a bit of a reading done and she told me that I was going to have a little girl and her, she was going to be a bit different. She was going to be the, going to be the mouth from the south. I think we got it. <laughs> but she grew into a very defiant, competitive, gorgeous young lady with a heart of gold. Five years ago, I was over at Ellie's house for a dinner. There was this young fellow there working on a water tanks at the house. Some small conversations we had over dinner, and to be honest, I didn't think much of him. A month or two goes past, and I found out that that young fella had been hustling Ashton and texting about me. I don't blame him. <laughs> anyway, it comes to Boxing Day, and Ellie says, Won't you come over up to Mum and Dad? There's a bit of a shinny on, and it's always a bit of good fun. Little did I know, Ellie was trying to play Cupid. I saw that same young fella in fine form, half a carton deep of Forex beer. It was like a glimpse into my future, a future that I would have thought would have been all right. <laughs> a few weeks go past and that young fella, he tries to keep his love interest on the down low, saving my number under a cheeky nickname, attempting at playing cool to his cousins. However, that was a bit difficult for the young bloke. Rumour has it, Cameron never smiled so much in his life, kinder than ever and polite to all round. It was thought that maybe he'd met the, the girl of his dreams. That tough old bugger tendering the biggest soot, confessing his unconditional love to me within the early days, reminding me that maybe he wanted to marry me one day. And by two months into our relationship, that young fella was begging me to move in full time. To today. Our wedding day. I call on the persons here present. I call on the persons here present. To witness that I, Cameron. <laughs> to, to witness that I, Cameron. Take Renice. Take Renice. <laughs> to be my lawful wedded wife. To be my lawful wedded wife. <laughs> <laughs> I said lawful, not awful. <laughs> I call on the persons here present. I call on the persons here present. To witness that I am Renee. To witness, witness that I am Renee. <laughs> Take care of Cameron to be my lawful winner husband. To be Cameron. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> what am I saying? To take Cameron. <laughs> to take Cameron to, to be, be my lawful, lawful wedded husband. husband. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better for worse. For better for worse. For richer for poorer. For richer or for poorer. In sickness and in health. And in sickness and health. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. Now a bit. <laughs> I can still remember the very first time um, I ever heard our girl mention your name. Her eyes went slightly cross-eyed, she started drooling. I was pretty worried she was having a stroke. But then I realised it was actually her look of love. <laughs> I was even more relieved when I met you for the first time. And I was very pleased uh, to realise that not only were you amazingly kind and very funny, um, but you were also completely head over heels for her too. To my bridesmaids. You ladies are everything. Each one of you have inspired me to do better and be better. 
Looking back, I never imagined myself as a nurse, nor did I ever think that I would have a group of friends within the emergency services in the medical field. Surrounding myself with you ladies has made me grateful and I respect our deep root of friendships that we hold. Congratulations on your marriage today. It gives me great pleasure to be now your husband and wife. Cameron, you may kiss your beautiful wife. Woo! Yay! Yay! We'd love to say that we can remember when we met Cam, but we can't. Yeah! So sorry Cam, you weren't that significant at the time. <laughs> <laughs> but the best thing about all of it is how well they both just slotted into both our families. So Cam, welcome to the Plate family. We're very, very honoured to have you, and you've done exceptionally well. <laughs> well done. So I think you can't go wrong with Cam Nose. I think you got yourself a good one. A lot of planning and a negotiation, a few tears have gone into the special day. But we finally found someone willing to partner up with Phil. Mom and Dad. <laughs> I wanted to say thank you for my great start in life. Words do little to express how thankful I am to have you both as role models. You've shown me how to live life to the fullest, to be strong, how to love and to be loved. As a young girl, I always dreamed of finding the love that you both possess. Growing up, having your strong relationship as my pillar of marriage, I knew that I wanted that same love and strength within my marriage. I'd like to thank my family, especially mum and dad, for all that you've done for um, Nace and I on our way to building our life together. I'm very fortunate to be able to have such a strong family presence behind me. And I'd like, to, I'd like to think that's helped steer me in the right direction with everything in life, including marrying the right person. Also, I'd like to welcome everyone here tonight. Thanks for coming um, to make this night special for Cameron and Nace. So uh, seeing Renee's here today as a gorgeous, lovely bride, I know Jodie and Dick and family are very proud of her. You just want to hold his head very, very high, mate. Very proud of you. It's a beautiful wedding. Done a really good job here tonight. To my husband, I have always said that I wanted that unconditional, knock your socks off kind of love. The love that my parents have possessed. And I believe that I've found that within you. Thank you for showing me a love that I never knew existed. Beyond that hard exterior, be a, bit, be a drinking banter. You've become my best friend and my confidant. You are funny actually, inspiring and loving. <laughs> You've always loved me for all my faults, my imperfections, everything. I appreciate the lengths you have go for me and our future.
today and always, I promise to make you laugh at me or even with me and to keep our love fun and exciting. So here's to plenty more adventures, absolutely dreadful jokes and a lifetime of love for us. My heart has always belonged to you, Cam.